Welcome to Big Daddy Storytime. We're reading Walt Disney's My Side of the Story, our Captain Hook. Peter the Cheater. I might have rid the world of a nuisance if I'd hit Pan that morning. Alas, I didn't, and later that day he was up to his mischief again. I had gone out in my rowboat with Smee and Tiger Lily, the Indian chief's daughter. Tiger Lily had agreed to be my real estate agent and was showing us some of the finer shorefront properties on the island. But just as we were rowing past Skull Rock, we heard a strange, eerie voice. Beware, Captain Hook, it called. Beware. I looked around, but I saw nothing but rock, sea, and sky. It's an evil spirit, Captain, Smee declared. Now I know of no spirits in Neverland, so something smelt fishy to me. Stand by, Smee, I commanded, while I take a look around. While Smee and Tiger Lily waited in the boat, I crept around to the other side of Skull Rock. And what do you suppose I found there? Of course, Peter Pan! He was using his silly little cap like a bullhorn to disguise his voice. Only now he was pretending to be me. Smee! Pan hollered in a voice like my own. When you return to the ship, tell the whole crew to help themselves to my best rum. The scoundrel! I came up behind him and snatched the cap right out of his hand. Pan leaped up and whirled around. He drew his dagger from his belt as if I thought I was trying to attack him. Now I am a gentleman, and it is the gentleman's code of honor never to stab one's rival in the back, no matter how irritating he might be. By creeping up behind him, I merely meant to put a stop to his pranks. Of course, once he started jabbing at me with his little knife, I had to defend myself. I drew my sword and we began to duel. I'm an excellent swordsman, and if it had been a fair fight, I would have beaten him quicker than you can say, Clef, clef him to the brisket. But Peter Pan is a coward and a cheater, too. Rather than keep his feet on the ground and fight like a man, Pan flittered around like a pesty mosquito, zipping his way and that through the air. Still, I would have given him a good thrashing, but I accidentally lost my footing and tumbled off the edge of the rock, straight into the jaws of the crocodile. Ah! Uh, if that didn't give me the fright of my life. Fortunately, I managed to escape with only a few rips in my, my, my knickers, but I got soaked to my blessed bones and came down with a terrible head cold. Oh, boy. Poor me. I was shut indoors with a splitting headache for a week. But that wasn't the worst of it. In all the commotion, we'd forgotten about Tiger Lily. Smee left her standing on Skull Rock, and when the tide came in, she nearly drowned. I told, I told, that Pe told them that Peter Pan fe fetched her just in time. Of course, I apologized a dozen times for leaving her stranded there. I even sent flowers, but she refused to have anything to do with me after that. I realized I would have to find another real estate agent. What have we learned today, my friends? We learned from Captain Hook, Smee, Tiger Lily, and Peter Pan that when Captain Hook tells a story, his way it is anything but actually the truth, that is. Be good, be happy, and be truthful, my friends. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more Big Daddy Storytime. God bless.